Fifth in Metro Atlanta. Welcome to the 2015 Travel Ball National Championship, powered by Nations Baseball and TravelBallSelect.com, the most competitive youth baseball in America. This an elimination bracket ball game inside of the 12U classification in the 2015 National Championships. It's the state of Tennessee versus the state of Michigan. The Motor City Hit Dogs up to the plate first to take on Doolin's Dodgers. And the first pitch, a fastball that sweeps outside for ball one. Isaiah Lipsy, Jack Crichton. And Alexander Mooney, you're guaranteed three here in the top half of this first inning. Thanks again for joining us, everybody. I'm Chris Mooneyham, live in Metro Atlanta. Happy Father's Day to all of you out there. It has turned into a, well, turned into a, it is the expected hot and humid day that we thought we would see here in Metro Atlanta. Another fastball that comes in tight on Lipsy. It's 3-0. and the Motor City Hit Dogs from the state of Michigan taking on Doolin's Dodgers from the state of Tennessee. Again, this elimination bracket ball game here on field four. Outside corner, 3-1 count. Jonathan Hogart. Jonathan Hogart, the man on the, on the mound for the boys in white and blue. Right inner kicks and fire. Fastball chopped right back up the middle and into center field for a solid base hit. So Isaiah Lipsy leads off the affair with a solid single. These two teams move into the championship game of this eight-team double elimination bracket, 16 teams playing inside of the championship tournament in the 12U classification. The North Texas Banditos from Altry, uh, Texas, await the winner of this one. This one's shot down to the second baseman, throwing to first for the double play, and they got him. Jack Crichton pops one off the end of the bat, hits it down to the second baseman. Jeffrey Entz. It turns into a 4-3 line out double play. And now Alexander Mooney, the Michigan shortstop. Out of play. Doolin's Dodgers, the number 19 team in America, according to the 2015 Travel Ball Select National Rankings. At short. On the second hop, not in time. Mooney reaches on the E6. And now Luke Lido. Lido, the big first baseman, the cleanup man. Chance at an RBI throw the first runner back. Yeah, Doolin's number 19 in the country, as I mentioned. The Motor City Hit Dogs from the state of Michigan, number 11 in the country. Coming into the Travel Ball National Championship in 2015. 1 0 count. Single by Lipsy, he was doubled off. On the line drive, double play, hit by Crichton. And now Mooney's reached on an E6. And we're Toledo. Fastball catches the outside corner, count even at one. Anthony Migliaccio on deck if Lito reaches. The first of four guaranteed games here on TrebleBallSelect.com and the 12U classification, possibly five. We'll, of course, keep you updated on the tournament as it unfolds, and we'll take a look at the road to this el elimination ball game for both of these clubs here in just a moment. Hogard kicks and fires. Fastball tails outside. We'll make it two and one. Him up, out of play, count even at two. Six teams still eligible to win the Travel Ball 2015 12U National Championship. Three in this one bracket. Again, they took the top 16 teams after pool play, in which each team played four games. 30 teams in this 12U National Championship divided into 
six divisions, five teams. So they each played four quote unquote pool play games. The top 16 qualified for two eight team double elimination brackets. North Texas Banditos from Altry, the number two team in the country. And right now the favorite to win the overall championship. Awaits the winner of this one. Over in the other bracket, the La Marinda Knights from Northern California going to take on either DKSA Elite, that's a team out of the state of Georgia, or the Alabama Elite or Indiana Baseball Club. Swing and a miss. Inning over. Hogart gets into a little bit of trouble, allows three men to reach, but gets out of the jam via line drive double play and a final out strikeout. We take our first break of the afternoon, the first of four, maybe five today on TrebleBallSelect.com. I got a high ankle sprain going for a rebound. Injuries are part of playing. I got hit catching a pass and broke my collarbone. So it's good to know that the sports medicine doctors, therapists, and athletic trainers at Children's Healthcare of Atlanta are experts. Gets over the fence. Tennessee to the plate in this bottom half of the first inning. The Doolins Dodgers outscoring their opponents 26 to 18 so far in the tournament. With Jeffrey Entz, Lane Forsyth, and Jonathan Hogart, the guaranteed three here in the bottom half of the first, led by head coach Jeff Entz. Logan Woods, first delivery. Fastball to stays high, 1-0. Logan's thrown more pitches than any of his teammates here in the championship. Lefty kicks and fires. Fastball tails in and just off the belt buckle of Entz. Make it 2-0. Dodgers a 9-8 win over the JCS Rangers in the opening ball game of this tournament. That's Tennessee over Georgia. Again, 9-8 the final in that one. In their second ball game, a 14-6 victory over Mississippi. Yalabusha Giants, 3-1 count. That got him into a matchup with the Banditos from Texas, and they lost a tight, tight affair, 4-3 the final in that one. The only team to really give the Banditos any sort of threat. Built it at first. Lito steps on the bag, out number one. First baseman unassisted. Here's lane four, Scythe, the Dodgers shortstop. Tennessee lost that ball game to Texas, 4-3, and got forced into this loser's bracket ball game. Or as I like to call it, the elimination bracket. No losers here today. <laughs> National tournament bracket. What are you, you kidding me? National championship. In fact, both of these teams meeting here, Michigan and Tennessee, lost to the team that may be the favorite to win the national championship, Texas. Ground ball at short. Throw to first. Two quick outs. 
Forsyth retired 6-3. And now Jonathan Hogart, the Tennessee pitcher. So Tennessee two and one into this elimination ball game. 4-0 inside of pool play where they beat the SBA Canes of North Carolina, the Louisville Sting of Kentucky, Giants Baseball Black of Georgia, and Georgia's East Cobb Astros. Beat every one of them, 4-0. Outscored them 41-28. A quick 1-2-3 inning for Logan Wood in the bottom half of the first. No score through one in the 2015 Travel Ball Select National Championship Series. year old Bryce Harper as an All-American. Go to the source for Travel Baseball National Rankings and All-America teams, TravelBallSelect.com. A picture-perfect day for baseball here in the Cactus League. Got some speed on first here. Let's see if they test Posey. I don't mean to spoil this for you. He's going to be out. Let me tell you how I know. Because I was up and firing in less than a second. Because I called the heater up and away. I looked him in the eyes and I knew he was going. Two on and runner goes. It doesn't matter if it's spring training or game seven. Second base. In time, what a throw by Buster. That is mid-season four right there, boys. It's always mine. Second frame, Metro Atlanta. Welcome back to the 2015 Travel Ball National Championship. Anthony Migliaccio with a swing and a miss at the first delivery from Jonathan Hogart. The perfect world for Tennessee. Hogart goes the distance today. He's got a lot of innings to do so. He's thrown 12 innings so far throughout this tournament, so he's got a long way to go. A lot of arm left to use in this one. Allowed two runners to reach in the top half of the first inning. Worked around the trouble. Ground ball at short. Fielding. Throwing. Out number one. Easy play for Forsyth at short. And here's Saborn Campbell. Noah Nelson will follow. State of Michigan's Motor, si uh, Motor City Hit Dogs, pardon me. Three and one in pool play. Outscored their opponents 45-24. That was a very good, very competitive pool. And a little underrated, quite frankly. Had two teams that were honorable mention in the national rankings. Virginia Vipers. The Mississippi's Yellow Busha Giants. JCS Rangers, who were not ranked. Yet a dangerous, dangerous club who also went 3-1. and one, Got into the championship bracket. And the Oklahoma Fuel, number 22 team. That tells you just how good these teams are. The Oklahoma Fuel, from obviously the state of Oklahoma, ranked number 22 in the country coming into the championships. They went 0-4 inside of pool play. So that fine three and one record inside a pool play earned the hit dogs from the Motor City in Michigan. A high, high seed in the in tournament play. Swing and a miss. Campbell gone via the strikeout. 
And now no one yeah, Detroit beat Florida two to four, something they're not accustomed to seeing. Programs across America. They don't lose many contests, 19 to four. Once it's gonna be extra bases. After that 19-4 loss to the Banditos, Autry of North Texas, they fell into the elimination bracket, won their first game of the day here on field four, as a matter of fact. So they're playing games back to back here. Michigan boys beat CBC Riverhawks Black from the state of Florida, six to one. To get into this, their second ball game of the day and their second elimination bracket ball game. They've been outscored in, in uh, bracket play. 20 to 24, or 24 20, I should say. Been outscored by four runs, but of course, that a little bit skewed because of that 19 to 4 loss. They suffered to the number two team in America. Wood with a 1 1 count, two men gone. Top half of the second. Chance to get himself as the moundsman for Michigan. Their first run of the ball game. Down to second, throw to first. Inning over. Wood retired 4-3 for the third time a runner reaches for Detroit, uh, Motor City, and for the third time. Well, third, they cannot push them across at the end of one and a half. No score. I'm Bryce Harper. And the only anti-glare product that I use is Warrior Black, and you should too. Blaze Jordan, Slate Offord, and Trey Higgins. You're guaranteed three here in the home half of this first inning. A uh, second inning, I'm sorry. <laughs> We've zoomed through the first inning and a half. Curveball outside corner, 0-2. Oh These next couple of guys with a good bit of power the boys from Tennessee. Wood, a curveball, struck him out. Well, fed him off speed pitches there. And the cleanup man for the Doolins Dodgers of Tennessee gone in three. Here's Slate Alford. Granter down to third. On the big hop, across the diamond. Two men gone. No problem there for Noah Nelson. Well, Slate hit it hard. Just chopped it down in the dirt right in front of the plate. Got the big hop down there to Nelson. Here's Trey Higgins. Wood looks in, gets a sign, and the 1-0. Back into the screen, count even. Two 
two and one. Traficante, Campbell, and Lipsy in the outfield left to right. Nelson, Mooney, Crichton, and Lido on the infield third to first. Migliaccio behind the plate and Wood on the mound. Again, outfield left to right. Traficante, Campbell, Lipsy. Nelson, Mooney, Crichton, and Lido on the infield. Migliaccio behind the plate, receiving the pitches from Logan Wood, and that is the first hit of the ball game. A little jam shot that Higgins is able to force into left center field for the base hit. Two out runner aboard, Grant Taylor to the plate. Two teams looking for a rematch. Whoever wins this one will get a rematch with the boys from Texas, from North Texas, the Banditos Autry, number two team in America. They've outscored their opponents here in the bracket 31 to 10. And both of these teams have fallen to that team. Fastball just off the inside corner, and it's 1-0. Wood with a runner in scoring position now. Fouls this one away. One and one count. Swing and a miss. Runner moving down to third. Wood kicks and fires a 1-2 on the ground, headed up the middle, and into center field for a base hit. Well, run manufacturing there. RBI single Grant Taylor after the two-out hit by Higgins. And it's one to nothing, Tennessee. So a single. A balk. A wild pitch and a single. And now Luke Smith. Luke and EH today. Chopper at Nelson. Stays with it. Inning over. But not before a single. And as I mentioned, a balk. A wild pitch, and then another two-out single. Brings in the first run of the ball game. It's one to nothing, Tennessee. Through two on TravelBallSelect.com.
Jonathan Hogart now with a one nothing lead starts with a fastball to Lucas Murakaw. It's Murakaw, Traficante, and Isaiah Lipsy. You're guaranteed three. The visitors half of this third inning. Fastball stays high, count even at one. Bottom two men in the lineup and then back to the top of the order. Again, three teams remaining in this portion of the bracket. One, two count. And three teams left in the other bracket, by the way. The La Mirinda Knights from Northern California, DKSA Elite from Georgia, and the Alabama Elite, as you would imagine, from the state of Alabama. Joining these two teams, plus from Texas, the North Texas Banditos from Autry. Line down the left field line, a foul ball. Count stays at 2-2. Two -two. Right now, Georgia and Alabama meeting over on field six in like this, an elimination ball game. The winner advances on to face La Marinda from Northern California. Cut on and missed. At the third strikeout now for Hogarth. All swinging, one in each inning. Nick Traficante, the Motor City Hit Dogs left fielder. So six teams remaining. Swing and a miss. And within the next hour and a half, you would imagine, will be down to four. In the dirt. And this is the first of four ball games broadcast here on field four on travelballselect.com. Again, I'm Chris Mooneyham. Thanks for joining us, everybody. It's been an amazing week of festivities here in Metro Atlanta. Ground ball down to third. No problem for Alford, who throws across the diamond for out number two. Opening ceremonies on Tuesday over at Sprayberry High School here in the local Marietta area, Metro Atlanta, for those of you unfamiliar with the area. If you're watching out there and you got a young person from Tennessee or Michigan in this affair, we're no more than about uh, 25 minutes, I'd say, 20 minutes from downtown Atlanta. And that's without traffic. No doubt you know about our famous traffic here in Atlanta. 2-0 count on Lipsy. Isaiah delivered the first hit of the ball game as a leadoff man in the top half of the first. For the Motor City Hit Dogs from Michigan, led by head coach Joe Mooney. Fastball sweeps outside. Hogarth's falling behind quickly on Lipsy, 3-0. Curveball right across there with the old automatic. Three and one count, two men gone. Top half of this third frame. Remember, we're scheduled for six in the 12U classification. Shot right back up the middle and a base hit. Lipsy's some kind of hitter. Not the first time I've had the opportunity to see this young man. He's a good little hitter. You see why he's their leadoff man. And now Crichton. Jack hit one pretty solidly his first time up. Caught it off the end of the bat just a little bit, and that's what was able, uh, that's what made the ball hold up just a little bit as it 